For Waiver Wire Tuesday, we start with the running back position. And I'm looking at two guys in this one section. I'm going to give you two for one in this, in, in, in this deal. This is a good package deal for you. And it's two running backs for the Green Bay Packers. Because in a stunning move, a guy who I talked about a couple weeks ago that I thought was going to have a big impact on this Green Bay Packers offense, Niall Davis, has just been released? I, I, it doesn't really make much sense to me unless they didn't see much potential, much promise out of Davis and thought that, hey, Starks is coming back. We can do this with Ty Montgomery and Don Jackson. We've seen enough out of Don Jackson, the youngster, that, hey, we can, we, we don't need Niles Davis. So they let him go. And now the two guys that I'm going to look to pick up, James Starks and Aaron Ripkowski. You may be thinking, who? Let me tell you about him. So, you know James Starks. Obviously, he's the obvious one. He's 24% owned in CBS Sports Fantasy Football Leagues at this moment. James Starks, he's been out for a couple weeks now with a knee injury. Had a little slight surgery on the knee to get that recovered and healthy again. He's going to miss this weekend's game against the Indianapolis Colts. But, I'm thinking he could be back in the next week or two after that. And when that happens, we know Eddie Lacy is going to be out for a while, but when that happens, James Stark should be that number one running back. He should be shouldering the load for the most part, along with Ty Montgomery. They'll probably use him a little bit out of the backfield, maybe a Randall Cobb. They used you know, a little bit Devontae Adams to get him in some good, some good matchups last weekend, as well as, as going you know, with Cobb and, and, and Ty Montgomery out. They had to do some different things, shift some people around, and Devontae Adams ended up being out of the backfield. But I'm assuming James Starks will assume those lead running back duties when he returns. So here on Waiver Wire Tuesday, we like to kind of get out ahead of the curve. So if you were thin at the running back position, but not too thin where you, you're really struggling, you need a running back this week to play, I would go pick up James Starks. He could be some good depth in the later weeks of this season. And Aaron Ripkowski, he is try he's got a very tough job. You thought Aaron Rodgers was tough coming in replacing Brett Favre. How about replacing a legend at fullback slash running back with Aaron Ripkowski? Replacing John Kuhn! Yeah, the folk hero of Green Bay. They let him go. He went to the New Orleans Saints. He's still doing his thing out there in New Orleans. Love John Kuhn. And he has a similar body type to a John Kuhn. And Aaron Ripkowski, get this, owned in 0% of leagues. I like the way he finished runs last week. He was tied at the team lead in rushes last week with six rushes for 34 yards, I believe it was. And uh, so he's been running the ball hard. And like I said, I like the way he finishes those runs. And... Um, he could be in line for some goal line work in the next week or two. Depending upon how long James Starks is out, Aaron Ripkowski could get some 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 nice work. And I'm only rec recommending Aaron Ripkowski in a deeper league uh, because he seemed to kind of be that guy that they want to you know get the you know get the football to. He's a good blocker. They give him inside handoffs. You know, especially around the goal line. We've seen with Kuhn over the last couple of years that they like to do that with their fullback slash running backs. And so I think if Aaron Ripkowski develops into a guy like that, he could be useful in a deeper league, a guy you could take a shot on to score a touchdown to get you, you know, 20 to 50 yards possibly on the ground with, you know, 5 to, to 10 carries uh, if the Packers are going to go that way. They know they want to be a little bit more balanced on offense, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Ty Montgomery comes back. So I'm going James Starks if you want to grab and stash with him. And Aaron Rupkowski, if you're in a deeper league, I'd say 14 or more, and you're needing a running back play for this next week, depending upon injuries and buys. So those are two guys I would recommend right off the top here with our Waiver Wire Tuesday running back position.